What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can install XCX Menu on your RGH or JTAGged Xbox 360. Now please note, you do need a Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360 or a JTAGged Joint Test Action Group, I believe, <laughs> what that JTAG stands for, Xbox 360, in order for this to work. You cannot do this on a retail console period dot the end so if xcx menu will not open or it says corrupt on your console that means either a it's not uh, reset glitch hacked or jtagged b your files are corrupted or c you're on a retail console and you did not listen to what i said just disclaimer out of the way right there please do not comment saying game files are corrupted unless you know that you have a reset glitch hack xbox 360 or a jtag xbox 360 uh, Anyways, XCX menu is like the main thing that you will need on your RGH or JTAGged Xbox 360 in order to do just about anything on it. So anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, website. There will be a link in the description below on where you can download XCX menu. Once you download it, you'll get a RAR file or a zip file. And you'll notice that you'll have a folder like this right here uh, after you extract them all you'll get a folder with a whole bunch of zeros go ahead and open that folder you'll see code 9999 go ahead and open that and you'll see this with a bunch of zeros and an 8 in the center go ahead and open that up and you'll see that we have our code 9999 and then F whole bunch of numbers after that this is the file we want right here Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to get a flash drive. Once we have our flash drive, we're going to format it on our Xbox 360. It doesn't matter if it's from a retail or an RGH, you want to have it formatted for the Xbox 360. Go ahead and open up Horizon, make sure you have your flash drive plugged in, and go ahead and drag uh, that right in here. You'll notice that I'm on XEX Menu 1.1. That's just what I have the file here for. XEX Menu 1.2 is out. I highly recommend you use 1.2, but I am just have 1.1 here for this tutorial. It'll work the same both ways. And you'll notice that we have XEX Menu 1.1 here, or 1.2 in your case. Go ahead and click Save to Device. Click Save to Flash Drive. And right over here, it'll take a few seconds. May take a minute, depending on how fast your computer is. Personally, I have a workstation grade computer, so it's going to go pretty fast with the magic of video editing. And you'll see this, the following packages were successfully transferred to the hard drive, XCX Menu 1.2 in your case. Go ahead and click OK. We can exit this out here, and if we go to Demos, you'll notice that we have XCX Menu right here. This is how we load XCX Menu onto our flash drive. Once it's on the flash drive, go ahead and unplug your flash drive from your computer after it's transferred the files. You're going to want to plug it into your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360, and I will see you guys on the Xbox. Alrighty guys, now that we are on our JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360, as you can see here, go ahead and plug up your flash drive that we just put XEX Menu on. Once we have our flash drive plugged in, you want to make sure you're on your main dashboard. Of course, you would be on your main dashboard if you're loading XCX menu. Uh, go over to settings, go to system, go to storage, and go to our memory unit or our USB storage device. In this case, mine is named memory unit that it's on. Go here. You want to go to demos. It will not be under games and apps. It will be under demos. So if you can't see it, go to Demos. Once we're in Demos here, you'll see that we have XEX Menu 1.1. Go ahead and select that. And you want to move it to your hard drive, not the internal memory unit, not another USB drive. You want to move it to your internal hard drive. If you do not have an internal hard drive in your Xbox 360 that has a JTAG or Reset Glitch hack, this will not work. And if you can get it to work, congratulations, but it's not as easy as it sounds. I already have 1.2 on our uh, hard drive here. And once we have it moved to the hard drive, you want to go over to Games, go to My Games, 
and you'll notice that we have XEX menu 1.2 here. Go ahead and press A for launch, and you'll see that we have XEX menu loaded up here. As you can see that uh, I have a different skin than you will have. If you go over here to skin, press A, use the D-pad, you can change your skin, uh, the scaling, all the stuff about XEX menu, LB and RB, the bumpers to navigate along with your D-pad, A, B, the typical. Or if you press uh, select, you will get the information right there. This is what XCX menu uh, should be on your console. If you, Like I said, if you get a corrupted game file, then you don't have a JTAG, or you don't have a reset glitch hack, or your files are corrupted. So uh, make sure you have a reset glitch hack or JTAG, like I said, that way so you can run XCX menu. This is XCX menu 1.2 that I'm running here. Uh, that's how you get XCX menu on your JTAG or reset glitch hack Xbox 360. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video, I will be showing you guys how you can get dash launch on your JTAG or reset glitch hack Xbox 360 as well. You will need an internal hard drive for that as well. And like I said, you will need uh, XCX menu also. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hope to see you guys back in the next video of our JTAG and Reset Glitch Hack tutorials where we talk about Dash Launch and all that good stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Go check out my website, MrMattDarnell.com. Till next time, guys, I will see you later.